As world hour record holder and European time trial champion Victor Campanazzo of Lotto Sudal warms up for the opening time trial of the Giro d'Italia, I thought I'd go around and ask a few coaches, maybe a rider and a sports director, uh, what a warm up protocol is in 2019. How long do they do? What do they do? How long before the start do they stop? And do they do cool downs? What's the science, first and foremost, behind doing a warm-up? Yeah, you have to activate all the all the systems that you uh, yeah, that you need for the for the time trial. That's that's actually for the for the warm-up. That's the case, and uh, we have a whole protocol uh, for it, uh, with also food included in it, with bottles included in it, bars. So there's a whole time schedule until the moment that you go off the roller, that you are ready to, uh, to go to the start and to do your, uh, your time trial. And does a warm up for a time trial differ if it's at the start of a Grand Tour versus if it's the last day or if it's a different length of time trial? No, 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 not at all. Um, normally, yeah, the, the only difference is that you have now before a Grand Tour, you're already two and a half days up front you are here. You can see the parkour already without that the fences are on the, on the road. So you know, the, you know already what, uh, what is coming up. More than that you do it when it is during a, a certain stage race or during, an, um, uh, during an, one of the TTs during the Grand Tour. And in terms of the warm-up that Tom, for example, will be doing for the opening time trial today, how, how long is it and what are the efforts like that he'll do during that warm-up? Ah, it's, it's not going to be too long, it's around 20 minutes. Um, he will do some sprints, he will do some, um, uh, some blocks of, uh, of efforts. So yeah, that, that's around 20 minutes and then he's ready. Time trial warm-ups, eight kilometers today. What will be your protocol to get yourself going? Um, pretty, pretty short one, like 20 minutes probably. Starting easy and um, progressing for Let's say 10 minutes, a little bit easy, and then the last five minutes again, and some sport, shorter sprints, intervals. And then I hope I, well, my, my body is ready to go deep. And does that protocol change for a shorter time trial versus a longer time trial, or in the first day versus the last day? Yeah, definitely. For the short one, it's necessary, otherwise it hurts too much. But probably for the long one, it, it's possible because it's an easier start, and I'm not even go on the rollers. Um, I just go to the start line and cruise. Really? Yeah, yeah it's possible. I mean, uh, I done it, I think, in Berenice without any warm-up on the rollers uh, to go on the start. And what about the difference between the road and the track? Obviously, world champion on the track, you do multiple events, so the warm-ups must be completely different for that. Not really. Actually, the prologue compared to a warm-up for, uh, yeah, for a points race, whatever, it's pretty similar. I mean, it's a short race also. You need to be ready from the start, from the very start, to react uh, on any attacks uh, or... Therefore, the warm-up is the same. It's pretty much uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, uh, the whole warm-up. You finish 50 minutes before, and then you go in. But during the Omnium, if I have once done a warm-up, probably I don't do a warm-up for a second race, because then I'm in the mood and I just go on. And if I start sweating, I stop. So uh, once one time to hurt, uh, it's enough. And finally, uh, cool downs, obviously something we didn't see in the peloton 10 years ago. Now, most people are doing it. Are you, are you one for cool downs? No, not really. <laughs> uh, I, saw still, I still see a lot of people who cool down, especially after mountain stages or even after sprints. But the last year or the last two years uh, with Orica, um, they said now it's after the finish line starts recovery. Today, I mean, we, it's warm, first thing. Second thing is that they, re they did a recon in this afternoon because uh, the road was not closed this morning, so they used the afternoon to do the recon. So that means that they just finished the recon a few minutes ago. So it's not really necessary to do a long warm-up. Okay, so as you can see, the riders, they are gonna do a warm-up of 25 minutes, and then they, they uh, stop and they have five minutes to change clothing to put the helmet on and then another 15 minutes to go to the start because today is far away. So uh, 25 minutes on the rollers, just about five, six minutes warm up on the rollers. Then they do some progressions, then they rest a little bit and then they do uh, two accelerations of between 10, 15 seconds. And you of course were a successful professional yourself. So how have warm-ups for time trials changed since the early part of your career? I think a lot. I mean, I remember in the past that we were doing rollers for almost one hour and sweating as crazy. And, and now, you know, we, we really 
think about the irritation of the riders and we don't really want that they lose a lot of liquid. So we use the fans, we use the um, uh, ice uh, vest to try to keep the temperature of the body as low as possible, uh, but to warm up the muscles. That's the goal. Well, I don't know about a warm up, I think I need a cool down. I'm once again like a true Brit abroad with a burnt forehead and burnt neck. So I'm gonna get into an air conditioned car. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something about how the riders in 2019 warm up for time trials like today. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up just down below this video. And if you'd like some more content from the Giro, we've got some of the latest time trial tech for you just down here.